All right, so I want to do a quick video about um, some of the basics, uh, terminology, and basic uh, fundamentals of the sport, armored combat fighting, in whatever variation you talk about. I know being a new guy in the sport, I've been about a year, um, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't understand in just basic terms um, that were kind of thrown around by people as so I was starting to get into it. And I'm lucky enough to have the uh, Knights Hall in Nashville, New Hampshire, like down the road where I can go and train and fight with them. And I still needed a lot of interpretation and research and unfortunately there's not a lot out there on this sport uh, yet. So we're talking about armored combat sports, um, uh, armored combat league, armored combat league worldwide, uh, HMB, historical medieval battle, um, you've got Bohurt or Buhurt, you'll hear it overseas uh, using that term, all falls under the same area of fighting full contact in full suits of armor uh, weighing somewhere from you know 40 to 70 pounds, depending on size and what you're wearing exactly, uh, and fighting people with real steel weapons. So I often just call it steel fighting. Uh, I have my own preference for what league and what teams to fight with, but in general, we're talking about just the overall concept of it. Um, if you're interested in this at all, uh, you're going to ideally fight with whoever's closest to you. Um, you know, whatever's in your region, you'd learn about and go and meet people. Uh, but if there isn't anyone in your region, how do you find out about it? So so some of the terms, um, and the first one is, what are you going to train with? So behind me you'll see uh, two tires nailed to a tree. That's my PEL. PEL is basically the word for something you're striking to practice against. It can be a uh, punching bag, it can be a kickboxing bag. Uh, we often use tires because they take more of a beating. Uh, you'll see a setup, you usually have three tires in a row. I have two right now. I'm actually building a better, more uh, larger PEL, uh, which I'll talk about uh, in another video. Um, but the idea is it's something you can hit. And if you watch any of the videos, you see me practicing it on it all the time. Um, what I'm practicing with most of the time is a waster, a wooden sword called a waster. May or not have a cross guard on it. Uh, well, a lot of wasters don't, just for simplicity, because I'm practicing striking drills. Um, this is made by Hickory Arms. Um, I'm going to do a review on their uh, wooden wasters and swords a little bit later, because I think they're fantastic, an amazing deal, and they really hold up. Uh, this is a waster, so it's an arming sword length waster. Um, so you're going to be striking with this and practicing and hitting on your pel and things like that. So it's primary, you need something to practice with. Um, steel is not great uh, for getting fundamentals down. Wood looks a, little, looks a little better. It's a little more forgiving as you're getting angles, you're hitting on the blade. Um, and these wooden uh, hickory arms wasters are fantastic. So when we're fighting, I'm talking about uh, full metal armor. So I brought up just a couple pieces here. So this is a scale gauntlet. So it's made of little plates of metal. We'll go up a little bit closer and you can see on it. Little plates of metal, right? And we wear this to protect ourselves. And it's one of the more affordable versions of it. So it protects my wrist. I'd have armor coming up under here. And more often you'll see us fighting with something like a plate gauntlet. So it's got a bell to protect my wrist better. Um, you know, I can grab and grab weapons. I can grab people. My fingers are, you know, not individual fingers. It's a mitten because I don't want my fingers chopped off. And this protects me and can take hard hits. The thing I want to talk about is the term list. I kept hearing list, list, list when I joined. A list is just the ring. It's a square or rectangle ring in most cases. Um, and it can be a wooden ring, it can be made out of cattle rails, um, it can be whatever you're fighting in, but the term is list instead of ring or octagon from MMA, right? Um, so you're fighting in the list. A couple other things, uh, one of the most common weapons for fighting, falchion. So it's a sword, one side has one blade, there's no blade in the other, so it's a one-sided sword. Heavy sword for striking hard, it's a falchion, we use these a lot, and you'll see that as a common word, and if you don't uh, not involved in the sport, you may not know the term falchion when we're talking about this kind of sword. More commonly, I'm sure many of you heard of a long sword. This is my long sword. I love this long sword. I like fighting long sword. Uh, it's a great style of dueling weapon. It's not really good in melee, as we'll talk about in a minute, because it doesn't do a lot of damage for its size. It's much more of a stabbing weapon. And one thing you'll find in this sport, it's very important, is we cannot stab. It's the one big thing we cannot do. Stabbing can get under plate spots and really damage someone, maybe slide up underneath. So everything is a swinging strike. You swing for points or you swing for damage, depending on what you're fighting. Probably a good moment to talk about the two main styles, I guess three main styles of fighting you'll see. You're going to see a duel. Duel is a one-on-one -on -one fight, usually for points. Matched weapons most times, so longsword versus longsword. 
and you're fighting just for solid strikes, you get points. More points wins the round. Very simple. You'll see what's also called a pro fight or a night fight. Slightly different uh, rule sets, but pretty similar. Um, where there are, you're fighting to control the fight and win it. Uh, closer to a boxing match where you have judges judging you on who dominated or won each round. So you get points for weapon strikes primarily. You get points for great defense. You get points for um, other strikes, punches, throws, headbutts, kicks, anything else. If you dominate the round, you win it. And it's usually best of three rounds, best of five rounds. There's different classes, weight classes, things like that. But that's your pro fight. So it's um, a little more complex in a duel. You're not just throwing weapon strikes. You're also uh, attacking with your whole body in many different ways. Um, they will get you points also. In a duel, I can kick somebody, but I'm probably not going to get the point in most formats unless it's a weapon strike. Uh, then is what you'll see a lot on, online, uh, which is the melee. Melee can be 3-on-3, three 5-on-5, three, 10-on-10, ten ten, uh, 50 on 50 and they did 100-on-100. Hundred hundred. Uh, but it's basically fighting uh, to, to submission to knock someone to the ground, I should say. So you fight in 3-on-3. Three three. Uh, once all three people are down the other side, your team would win if you have people standing. There are rules for um, if you get to certain numbers, like a three on one, they'll call it for the fight so no one gets injured. But generally speaking, you're hitting that person whatever way you can to knock them down. You can throw them, you can punch them, you can hit them hard with a weapon. Whatever you need to do to get them to the ground, if you knock more of the opponents down, you win the round. Um, different formats have, have quarters, have number of rounds, but that's the concept for the third major battle, the melee. So here's my two-handed axe, also called a short axe. Short axe is not a pole arm, right? This is basically fought with like this or like this. Swinging, this is very heavy. Uh, it does a lot of damage. The goal with this is to uh, hit someone hard enough that they don't want to stand up anymore. So that's the other kind of fighting, the melee. Bugs are driving me crazy out here today. Um, I want to show you, this is my little training facility. And by that, I mean my backyard. So I've got um, this little space right here where I've got my pal, I've got some uh, tires out here for doing sledgehammer work because it's great for axe work. Uh, but that's just the basics of the sport. We're looking at a sport where we are reenacting um, a historical style of fighting, but doing it in a sport context. Um, I'm in it much more of the sport than the historical, uh, I'll be honest. I love the fighting, I love the contact, I love the working out, I love the training with people, I love the getting in the ring and seeing who's better. Um, and knowing that if I'm at my best, I might win, and if I'm not, someone else is going to knock me down, and I'm going to feel it. Um, so if you have any questions or you want to talk to me about it, uh, leave me a message, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, I'm glad to share my experience, um, as little as it is, being about a year into it. But I feel like the more information we can get out there, the more people can join and learn about this amazing sport.